Welcome to another episode of the Mostly Mike Show. I hope that you're sitting down because this is part two, part one of a renovation journey that will leave you hanging on the edge of your seat from sheer excitement. You might want to hit pause and go empty your bladder. It's Metal Roofing Day here at the Mostly Mike Show Research and Development Center, along with a few other shenanigans with the exterior renovation processes. In part one, we did some rough framing of the East Wing expansion of the Research and Development Center, which we like to call the Boathouse. Roadhouse. We also hung some rafters. And let me tell you, these rafters were very well hung. Please don't take that the wrong way, whatever that is. We also installed some purlins to prepare for the installation of the metal roofing. In this video, we'll install the metal roofing, do some soffit and fascia, some gutters, and maybe a little more depending on a number of things. There's only one of me, so please don't mind if I do everything. Um, real quick, I can't permit you to watch this video any further unless you click the thumbs up button. Upon clicking the thumbs up, you'll be granted unlimited free views and one year of good luck. Sound like a good deal? So the metal roofing really goes on quickly, even with this one-man show who has limited experience installing metal roofing, installing the metal roofing. Just a few screws, a boot, every two feet, then install another sheet, then repeat, until you run out of either daylight or metal roofing. That's pretty neat. After the boathouse roof was done, there's a transition strip which connects the boathouse roof to the Mostly Mike Show Research and Development Center roof, which was a little bit steeper pitch. This inherently makes the roof super slippery, which added to the fun. I actually had to change my boots to a pair that never left the roof which had clean dry soles every time I climbed onto the roof for additional traction to circumvent events that could lead to the breaking of my neck. Between grass, mud, and maple propellers, they made my boots about as slick as snot on a doorknob. And that's pretty slick. After a few close calls, I also had to change my underwear. I tried my best to keep safety at the forefront. There are purpose-made boots available for walking on metal roofing, but I'm cheap and they're expensive. Besides, this might be the last time I ever need them. I basically repeated on the other side, same method, and then installed soffit and fascia the entire way around the building. Which soffit and fascia has a way of really pimping out a building that previously never had it installed before. There are some areas where I had to get creative, you know, for transitions and whatnots. I even installed some recessed lighting in the soffit. Next I hung seamless gutters on both sides of the building. These gutters were also very well hung. With seamless gutters, the truck comes right to your research and development center and literally poops out the gutter in one piece, as long as you want it, with no seams. Hence the name Seamless. Or at least that's how it seems. <laughs> I borrowed this really cool Melco gutter punch to simplify the holes for the downspouts. I made a review video for that tool which I'll include the link for that video and the link for my Amazon store. Clicking anything in that store before you make any purchase on Amazon helps me improve future content with small commissions I earn from any sale even if you don't buy the products that I promote. The main building of the Most Limux Show Research and Development Center is made of block, which probably hadn't seen a coat of paint in decades. 
I hit the entire concrete block part of the building with a pressure washer, which made a dramatic difference by doing just that. There were algae-like stains wherever weeds used to grow against the building which was a real eyesore. When it comes to buying certain things, as I said earlier, I'm cheap, or putting it politically correct, I'm frugal. But I won't compromise for cheap paint. So I sprung for the Smack Daddy Paint and Primer in one, which claims to be the best. We're gonna test that. I expressed a timer 12 in every one of my videos that involves painting or staining the hate-hate relationship that I have with painting. But there was just me, and someone had to do it, so it was what it was. I hope to never have to paint this building again, so it has to last forever, or at least close. The block wall soaked up the paint like a sponge, taking three gallons for the first coat. The second coat was much easier to apply, only taking just over one gallon. I tore off the old basketball hoop, backboard, and aluminum siding under the eaves, then replaced the said siding with sage green vinyl to match the siding on Coca Vila. And that brings us to a good stopping point for this chapter. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell to stay in the loop for part 2, part 2 of the garage renovation, which we all know garage is just a code word for the top secret location of the Mostly Mike Show Research and Development Center. In that video, we'll be wrapping up with excavations, some concrete floors and aprons, a gravel lot, garage door replacement, and who knows what else. You will only get it here. Please click the thumbs up if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Boathouse. Roadhouse. Boathouse. Roadhouse.